edition of the Boys State News. Our first story comes at you with Nick and Jacob, our reporters, as they walk around the state and they ask campers a few interesting interesting questions. Take a look. What's up again, guys? I'm here with Kenny. We're going to have another spelling test. All right, Kenny, can you spell Arctic for me? A-R-C-T-I-C. Very good. All right, can you give me, um, spell harass for me? Harass. Yeah. Um, H-A-R-R-A-S-S. One more time. Hey, I'm here with my guy, Edward. We're going to have another spelling test. All right, Edward. Can you spell handkerchief for me? Handkerchief. Like handkerchief? Handkerchief. That's all I can give you. All right. Um, H-A-N. Now give me, give me embarrass. Embarrass. E M B A R A S S. Last night there was a car crash in front of the West Virginia building. Here's Parker Matthew with the story. Last night on the corner in front of the West Virginia building, there was a wreck. Approximately three people were involved. When first responders got to the scene, it seemed the victim operating the vehicle was disoriented. The driver was apparently hit by a squeegee, commonly used for cleaning windows. My name is William Mack, uh, State Police Officer number 69, and uh, there's been a hit and run here. Uh, this poor clown has been hit with a squeegee, and the guy stole his wig and took off running towards the woods, so now we have to figure out who did it. Uh, oh, I just got here. Okay. Um, apparently, something horrible happened. I was busy, uh, help set, helping with uh, helping writing a, a speech. Helping write a speech. Uh, oh no! Oh my goodness! Can I go? Luckily, no one was fatally injured, and everyone is resting easy in the Boy State Hospital. A fire broke out last night at the Gilmer Cottage. We have David Mudge on the scene. Is it true that you live in the Gilmer cabin? Yes, right over here. Are you afraid of losing all your stuff in the fire? Oh my gosh, yes, yes. If that, if that cabin burns down, my whole life is in there. My clothes, everything that I own, it's okay. in there. And if that cabin burns down, it will, huh? Muscle milk, oh my gosh. So my protein to get me swole, it's in there, and if it burns down, I'm done for. I mean, these legs, look at this legs. Listen, look at me, look at me. I mean, come on, like, look at this. Look at this, look at this. I'm looking, okay? sir. If that cabin burns down, if it burns down, if it burns down, I won't have the body that I have today. <laughs> so, so I just need everybody to, to send your prayers for Gilmer Cabin, for Gilmer Cabin and my muscle milk because I need to be strong. Will do, sir. Thank you for the interview. Today in sports, Braxton took on Gilmore and Calhoun in sand volleyball. Lewis faced Monroe in court volleyball and Kanala faced Webster and Barber in Frisbee and Randolph faced Marion in softball. In basketball, Panhandle faced Upshur and Harrison. Nice hit. Good, that's you. Nice. Good job, guys. Yeah. 